farming throughout the UK is holding a steady course in politically challenging times. Its ability to keep a nation fed isn't getting any easier. John McClanahan, Deputy President of the Ulster Farmers Union, explains what today is all about and what concerns farming has in the future. We're very, uh, very, very happy to be involved with uh, Back British Farming Day, the Ulster Farmers Union, and along with the NFU, NFU Scotland, and NFU Cymru, are, are using this day to to highlight the value of uh, of British farming to the uh, to the to the British economy and to the British public. This is not about Little Britain. This is not about you no know, Britain only eating British. You no, know, we we recognise that there there is a need to import some food into the into the into the British Isles. Uh, there's some food we just can't produce, but but does concern us whenever we see government looking at doing trade deals to import food which we can produce here, which we can produce better here, we can produce to a higher welfare standard, to a higher sustainability standard, uh, to a higher environmental standard with a lower carbon footprint and ultimately when the playing field is levelled out to a much better value as well. The emphasis here is not just on farms but many more businesses in the food chain. Back British Farming Day. It's not just about the farmers. It's also about we have some of the uh, we have world leading processors, food processors ac- across these islands, and we also have world leading retailers. And we see those from at every level, from the, the the corner shop, the farm shop, right up to the major multiples and the world leading and what they do. And they they recognise and they also value the importance of buying British food, putting that on the shelves for for their consumers. Food inflation is high on the cost of living crisis. And the need for food security is now greater than ever. Yeah, well, we have seen uh, cost push inflation on food prices over the, over the course of this year. Uh, and uh, we don't see very much in the future that's going to change that. It's interesting if we, if we divide that uh, inflationary food price up and look at dom- domestic inflation, food inflation versus imported food inflation. We see that imported food inflation is, is rising at a far higher rate than domestic food inflation. Once again, highlighting the fact of the need for us to be as self-sufficient as possible in food production. If we go back uh, as far into 1984, we were about uh, 80. We were about, sorry, about 78 percent self-sufficient in food. Today, that figure is under 60 percent, and that that's concerning for us as an industry, and should be concerning for us as a nation. As contracts on global input costs are renegotiated, the need to be persuaded to buy local may become less of a choice. Doogie BD, GB News.